Hi everyone out there. Um, my name is John Hoche and I am currently in Astoria, Queens, born and raised in New Jersey, however, and hope everyone is staying safe. I am very honored to be a part of the um, Brave New Shakespeare Challenge that the Public Theater is doing. Um, today I'll be presenting to you the book of Sir Thomas More, a monologue uh, from uh, Act 2, Scene 4, uh, given by the character of Thomas More. And uh, this is really interesting. I wasn't familiar with this piece, but um, going over it, it rings true today how we need to look at ourselves and think about why some people think they're better than other people, why there is fear of the other or immigrants or people who are different than one another. Um, and Thomas More is encouraging people to kind of look within and, and, and question why people are judging or protesting other people. Um, so although it was written a long time ago, it definitely rings true today. Um, um, I hope that this can inspire you or trigger something inside of you to create and find find a voice or find a venue for your thoughts and emotions uh, through an artistic outlet, whether that be dance, poetry, um, visual art, digital art, um, TikTok, uh, Instagram, some way for you to find an artistic outlet. Hopefully things like this can stir something up inside of you and light a fire in you to have your voice heard. Grant them removed, and grant that this your noise hath chid down all the majesty of England. Imagine that you see the wretched strangers their babies at their backs and their poor luggage plodding to the ports and coasts for transportation. And that you sit as kings in your desires, authority quite silent by your brawl, and you in rough of your opinions clothed. What had you got? I'll tell you. You had taught how insolence and strong hand should prevail, how order should be quelled, and by this pattern, not one of you should live an aged man. For other ruffians, as their fancies wrought with self-same hand, self-reasons, and self-right, would shark on you, and men like ravenous fishes would feed on one another. You'll put down strangers, kill them, cut their throats, possess their houses, and lead the majesty of law in line to slip him like a hound. Say now the king should so much come too short of your great trespass, but as but to banish you, whither would you go? What country, by the nature of your error, should give you harbor? Go you to France or Flanders, to any German province, to Spain or Portugal, nay, anywhere that not adheres to England, why, you must needs be strangers. Would you be pleased to find a nation of such barbarous temper that breaking out in hideous violence would not afford you an abode on earth, with their detested knives against your throats, spurn you like dogs, and like as if God owed not nor made not you, what would you think to be thus used? This is the stranger's case, and this your mountainish 
inhumanity. Okay, guys, so thank you for sticking around and watching that. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it inspired you. And now it's your turn. So find a way to express yourself. Uh, take this speech um, from the book of Sir Thomas More. Just checking on that. Take this speech from the book of Sir Thomas More, uh, Act 2, Scene 4, do it yourself, or find another classical piece and try to spin it in a modern way or something like that. Find a way to keep art alive and keep art alive in you.